The e-bikes are now common on our local bike routes and trails in Colorado Springs. And in response, park leaders just launched an online survey to get public input that will influence the formation of more defined rules and regulations for e-bikes. Bill Folsom is looking into the process. There are a lot of opinions on e-bikes. The city of Colorado Springs launched a survey about e-bikes just a couple of days ago. So far, they're getting hundreds of responses a day. People have strong opinions about e-bikes, <laughs> and we hear that. We know they do. The mission of Susan Davies with the nonprofit Trails and Open Space Coalition is to represent all people who use local trails. One of the current hot topics is e-bikes and where they're permitted. Some people are so enthusiastic. Some people are out riding them already. Others are, oh, I don't know if I want to see even more bikes out on our trails. The coalition researches issues. On this one, they see e-bikes causing few problems in other counties where they're currently allowed. They also feel e-bikes further a core value of the coalition, which is removing barriers for anyone wanting to enjoy public lands. Support of e-bikes on our trails um, because they think it's an equity issue. We're witnessing this technology, so it's really timely for us to start understanding the feelings in where a policy might go in the future. Parks leaders in Colorado Springs see the need to create better defined rules about e-bikes on local trails. They've just launched an electronic survey to get public input. We've placed signs throughout the community in some of our open space trailheads and along our urban trail corridors where we're seeing the most use of e-bikes. A QR code on the signs links to the survey. It can also be accessed on the city's website. More than 1,800 people responded in just the first five days of the survey starting. We certainly feel like we've heard um, from both ends of the spectrum and everything in between. There's the survey that goes to the 1st of August, and then there's what we're seeing out on the trails. We've been out on this trail midday, midweek for about 15 to 20 minutes. In that time, we've seen close to a dozen e-bikes go by. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.